Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to The Last Federation. When we left off, we were helping out the Borings. In the good news department, the bug that had been erasing all our technology seems to have fixed itself. Which is good. The bad news is that the Evox over here, with this terrible homeworld situation... We really need to help them out with that, I think. Much as I'd like to sit around forever with the Borings and just, you know, chill out, get a lot of technology. You know, maybe develop psionic power. I think at this point, we need something. Because the Burlos right now are gaining massive amounts of power, and the Skylaxians are losing power. Part of that, of course, is due to the environment. And that's putting them at uh, negative compatibility with their planet, which is bad. Also, they have a really tiny planet to begin with. However, the Evox are also in not the world's greatest situation. I don't know why my outpost is not spacefaring. Don't ask me. Anyway. It'll take us a little too much money. I think about 50k, I think. In order to build another outpost. I don't want to do that. So... I think it's time to go pop over to say hello to the Skylaxians. And where do we gift technology? I have to accept that we're going to be pissing off the Burlusts. So with that, what are we going to give them? Well, let's start handing out combat, ground combat stuff first. Like laser pistols. Well, that's only minus three with the burlusts, and that makes me happy. Execute deal. Hooray. Because where the burlust dominate is on the ground. Execute deal. And... Cute deal. Okay. Now, maybe the Skylaxians have enough capability that they can... hold back the Burlusts for a little bit? Maybe? Property development... We'd help them build bomb shelters, but that just takes forever. I mean, we would pick up 100k on average, but no. We could build a terraforming kit with them, which, again, would help. But I think they need the Exozoological Park. A little take eight months we get Call it 2000 a month. So, construction workers are 600 each. So, we can go. Let's see. Property development. Oh. I think I forgot to hire the construction workers. There we go. Five construction workers. Good. Uh, oh, have a space junk. All right, fifty for each month you spend picking up the trash. Fifty inches of space junk will be removed from the atmosphere. The plant's shift construction speed will be quadrupled. That might not be terrible, but what I want to give them is the exozoological park. And hopefully, we have time to detect if the Burlusts are going to launch an attack. 
I might want... Okay, no. Tech gifts, go away. Um... Right, but let's have Xeno time. How much Xeno time? 232,000 Xeno time. Losing 4,000 per month. Or 3,000 per month because of... They're getting a thousand. They're getting almost a thousand a month. So call losing three thousand a month. Well, twenty one hundred, two hundred ten thousand would be seventy months. So three and a half solar years, probably close to four solar years at their current rates. I'd just like to point out that's not a very good situation for us to be in. With them having enhanced manufacturing capabilities for that long. We need to go do something about it. And we need to make their environmental situation worse. New quest. Evex got low drag casing. Evex scientist wants to give us low drag casings. I don't know if I'm really interested in getting low drag casings. Um. Hmm. Okay, Andor and Skylaxians are getting along though. Thoraxians got basic subatomic theory. Hooray! Okay. We built the Exozoological Park. We gained 6,000 credit. We spent 3,000. So we're up a net of 3k. That's good. That's very good. And Skylaxians do have that outpost. Alright. I think... We also need to help them with terraforming, if possible. Can we do a terraforming kit? Twenty-seven months. Too long. Um. Yeah. Twenty-seven months is that's too long. Burlusts. We're going to need to deal with their fleet before we can do that. And they've got too many people out there. <sighs> Let's see here. Customized flakes is a deployable bomber. All right. See, the problem is the Burlusts have too much, po have so much population, they have massive amounts of population growth just no matter how bad the situation gets on their world. And they've got this reactor accident here that's just killing people brutally. It doesn't matter because they're still gaining 41 million people a month. Despite the fact that their economy is abominable. Their compatibility has been dropped by almost three points. But no, they're still getting 41 million people per month. It just keeps compounding. And they're already the most powerful ground force race in the system. So I think we need to keep them from doing anything ground force based. And to do that, we have to knock out their ability to move people around. I uh, can't get him to destroy a pirate base. <sighs> Hostile act. Attack local armadas. Burlos are really gonna hate me after this. Skylaxian's gonna like me more. 
Hyperla Spies. Okay, it's been a solar month. Who? Here. Yeah. Says it's more expensive, but. Okay then. Recruit informant. Yeah. I could do it. Ooh, orbital bombing. 0 0.3 million bullets will be killed per day, which means I can kill six zero per month. So, essentially, I am spending 14 days just offsetting their growth for that month. That should tell you how bad it is. Pollute the local environment. Okay, so descent. Ooh. Wait, what? The Endors like the Burlists? Undermine local economy. Mm, we could reduce it. Poison local populace. Well, what could we do for them that would, you know, Make deal, we can give up prisoners for leverage. Uh, interesting. Put in a word with the boss. Yeah. Need to see if we can uh, get them to stop being at war. Ooh. Well, if we can get a bunch of leverage with them. That wouldn't be bad. But we'd also need to have at least zero pop zero influence, and we don't have that. And I don't think we're going to be able to get that very quickly. So... How am I going to do this? I'm going to go on and blow up a bunch of stuff. Oh, joy. 19 flagships. Of course. Temporary blackout in activities. Marge's response hangar. Taser turret. Taser turret. You know what? Let's go this way. We'll pull out our energy blaster. And we'll put it on auto fire. And let's see, these guys here die to miniguns, so I'm going to go this way and keep firing. How much shields does he get? Almost a million points of shields on this one guy. Okay, this might take a little while. Okay, maybe not. Let's switch to the minigun. And focus... You down. And there's a lot more ships that just took a bunch of damage. And go back to free fire. Blowing up a lot of stuff there.
Now, the reason to go save these pilots is because they're worth leverage over warlords. And I'm going to go with, um, yeah, free fire mode again. That is an interceptor. We don't like interceptors. In fact, I'm switching back to uh, minigun mode to deal with said interceptors. Why are there projectiles coming from over this way? Because they have a hypersonic pot over there. I mean, arc this way and free fire. I'm probably gonna get hit. Uh, shields are okay. This guy is not in awesome shape. Okay, and if we move this way... Ugh. Something keeps shooting us, and that's getting annoying. But we did take out one of them so far. I think. Uh... Let's go this way, and shift over to our energy blaster, and open fire. And now go this way. Eep. Please don't hit that thing. Good. Um. Well, let's uh, pull out the minigun. Keep him at arm's length. Minigun isn't terrible against them, it's just not optimal. Speed up. More than a bit. Now arc through here. Okay, taking out a few flagships. They've got a lot more over this way, though. But at the same time, we get to choose how to engage them. Aren't we supposed to have a, you know, jammer system that's supposed to prevent missiles from locking onto us, just maybe? I don't know. Okay, now all those guys are out of shields. Oh, yep, you're out of shields, you're out of shields, you're out of shields. So, let's shift back to minigun. And yeah, it's not the optimal weapon against them. But it's good against everything that's currently coming after us. Now we go this way, and we can set the gravity lance into play. And hopefully... There we go. And there's some burlesque pilots for us. Since we seem to have everything under control for the moment, let's, uh... Out of the paths those are taking. Let's say go this way. This turn. Shift to the minigun and let everything fire. Ow. Okay, drop you back down to two. Bump you back up to max. And start turning. Now, can we... Yeah, we can start taking this thing on. Its shields are still in good shape, but... There we go. And I think... If we 
Go this way. Are we in range? We are in range. We should be able to kill this thing in one round with the Gravel Ants. There we go. Bleh. Now we're surrounded. So the monitors that fire the particle cannon rounds, or whatever those are. Disruptors. I keep thinking they're particle cannons. And they die to my minigun. Which means my minigun is my anti-particle cannon weapon. Or disruptor weapon. Whew! Good dodge. Now this guy... Needs... Ow. Oh boy. Can I get to that thing in time? Those guys in time. Can you bump up my engines a little bit? Do so, I'm gonna need to fly right through where that thing is. And everybody's on auto fire. Now take that back up to the max. And oak. Oh. Yeah. Now we take that and we come back around this way. Or come to here and then come around this way. And then we do that and again we auto fire our minigun yeah minigun seems to be going okay now we can start dropping our engine power again uh i'd bump that up one more and shields go up one more and there we go. Right through the group. Drop our engines. Start turning. Pull out the uh, energy blaster. Okay, so this guy does have a disruptor. Or he's launching things that have disruptors. I do not like disruptors. I think I've made my uh, position on this very clear. Um, I'm close to the turrets here. Uh, I'm going to take the hits. Because, oh, gravity repulsor. I didn't even notice that. And focus fire. There we go. And you die to a minigun. Okay. In the interest of creating a uh, potential political future with the Burlusts. Uh, minigun, auto fire. And let's just drop this back down. And uh, let's 
see, that's normal. Double recharge right now. I don't have enough for that. Well, this should work. I uh, didn't get all of them. Oh, well. Um. There we go. Shields are recharging relatively quickly. I should be using my abilities. And, yeah, especially given that we're orbiting a burlesque homeworld, I should be using my orbital armor. So you know what? I'm gonna do that. And that's gonna take a little time to uh, cool down. Probably going to, uh, let's see, fly in this direction, auto fire on. All right, and then I'm going to turn this way. Is that a uh, interceptor? Okay. Claymore, dodged energy blaster. This guy has shields. Being the BHC Wolf, Burlust Heavy Cruiser. I think. Not sure what L-O-N means. Oh, long ship, probably. Burlis long ship, yeah. Alright. Mm-hmm. Now there's any waves of projectiles after me. I really dislike the Aegis ships. All right. Switching back to my minigun now, and we're going to see what happens. Um, no, we're not going to see what happens, because I'm going to go back to my energy blaster. Because I was actually working. Now we're going back to the minigun. And since its shields are gone, our minigun is now officially the best weapon against it. And I'm gonna go... this way. And you... are gonna die to energy blasters. You're gonna die to miniguns. Alrighty, more burlesque pilot saving incoming. Let's do some more damage output around here. Shields are back to full. Why don't we do something about it? And this guy dies to the gravity lance. And that's one more target down. Uh, yeah, Aegis guy is terrible against anything but my minigun. That Claymore dies to the energy blaster, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because it's almost out of health. And... Yep, there we go. Claymore down. I'm gonna fly straight through here. And, um. I'm gonna go this way. So I'm gonna go this way. 
And I'm gonna focus fire down you two guys. There we go. Free fire mode again. There's probably no way to save those guys. So I'm just gonna take out these Aegis cruisers. All right, I don't think either of those left pilots know. Okay, now that I'm this far out, I'm actually going to deploy another orbital bomber. And pull out my minigun. And, uh, let's just leave that thing there. Well, I go... Probably take a couple hits on its behalf. These things able to be destroyed. Probably. Is it worth destroying them? Probably. Uh, I can probably do this on four energy to my engines. And here we go. Okay, I actually need six, it looks like. And you don't have a shield anymore, so let's just pull out the gravity lance. Okay. There we go. One more. There. Oh, only one burlesque rescued. Not good. My orbital bomber is still, thankfully, dropping bombs. I'm glad I keep a little bit of inertia. It was so it would have been so easy to not factor that in. But they did. Ooh. Let's go uh take that thing out. Yeah, let's, uh, go mess with their home world a little bit. Um... Yeah, let's, uh... I think we're gonna have to accept the Burles are probably never going to like us. Um... Alrighty then, that thing's almost dead. And so is this. Radial scanner, which could bring... Pirates! Skylaxian pirates, even. Wait, do I have to kill those now, too? Free fire mode. Is my orbital bomber still- Yep, my orbital bomber is still alive up there. I wonder how much damage that thing's managing to do. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get way out of the way. And let these pirates do my work for me. 
Wee. Don't know how much damage those pirates are going to do total. But wow, this is going to be brutal for the burlusts. And keep firing. All right, this is out far enough. I'm going to deploy my orbital bomber. And now I am going to go back past it. And again, just like I did up in the other side of things, I'm going to act as a shield for it. Come on. All right. This guy is out of shield point. Let's pull out our minigun. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to activate triple range to see if that helps the orbital bomber. Because I know it's going to help me. Goodbye. Okay, maybe not goodbye yet, but hey. Um, hmm. My squadrons, do you have let a lot? So now I'm able to deploy a whole lot of stuff. This guy is still deploying a whole lot of stuff. And let's go just keep firing. Gravity Lance works against you. Gravity Lance works against you. Go here. No, I don't have my triple range anymore, so... Um... Yeah, let's, uh, go auto-attack. Okay, now they basically come to a halt, or nearly. Operation Sharpshooter. Operation Wolf. Operation Raptor. Triple range. And now these guys have just walked into a barrage of gravity lances that they're not going to get out of. I know they want to go to, you know, range three here, but even so. Oh, there's some burlesque pilots. I think I can go manage to rescue those guys. And in the meantime... Uh, I'm gonna need another pair of points here, I think. There we go. Power to weapons. What do we have that needs shooting? Energy blaster, minigun, minigun. Minigun seems to be the way to go. Um, okay. Well, let's just shoot down everything that exists. Alright. Um, nope, nope, don't want that. Let's go this way. Oh, better yet, let's go uh, that way. Still on auto fire. Now let's drop back down. Crank our weapon power back up to max. And can I gravity lance you? No, I cannot gravity lance you. 
But I can put you... You are going to be my primary target. And as we go and turn... There we go. Alrighty. There goes their emergency response hangers. I mean, all my strike, all my fighters over here. Those are, um, what kind of pilots? Skylaxians. Let's go, uh, they may have temporarily turned to crime, but I think we can, uh, forgive them. Given how crappy their homeworld is lately. Okay. Now let's take, I think, if I take two points off. Yes. Two points is good enough. Uh, minigun. These things are... Yeah. Let's destroy everything. I think I might be able to, if I'm careful. Yep, I can get those pilots too. Which puts me on once again auto fire. And they don't have any more right now. I can run off and leave these pirates as is. I might do that. How many flagships are left? Five. Skelexian Battle Carrier. Little Wonder. Model X, Model X. So those are their, yeah. I might as well withdraw here. Anything I do is gonna hurt the Skylaxian pirates and I want those guys in good shape. Let's... Hope... All right. Oh, look at that. The Skylaxian pirate armadas. And the Borings have nanometallurgy. Good. Just hoping they get that. Anyway, this episode has once again gone on way too long. My apologies. But thank you very much for watching. I have been Jim of the Fuzzy. I hope to see you again next time.